3D printing is everywhere. Everyone's 3D printing machine parts and toys and maybe even organs. But there's also a current rise in 3D printed food. Today, in collaboration with science and tech company Merck KGAA Darmstadt, Germany, I want to talk about how this tasty tech might be applied to more than just a menu near you. With worlds of curiosity, Merck KGAA Darmstadt, Germany talks about how innovative technologies are impacting our lives at work, at home, and everywhere in between. And sometimes these innovations have humble beginnings, but the potential for big impact. I remember the first 3D printing video that I ever saw. I have no idea what year it was, but it was a printer that used sugar as its medium. Rather than extrude something like ink, it somehow heated the sugar up layer by layer to form a shape. And I remember thinking that this was super cool, but also kind of gimmicky. I didn't really think that at the time, intricate sugar cubes were gonna change the world, much beyond a curious, huh, uh, before I dropped them into my coffee. But 3D printed food has come a long way since then, and it's being proposed to be used for more than just fantastical menu items. A project in Brussels called Performance aimed to use 3D printing to help people suffering from eating and swallowing difficulties known as dysphagia. Often the result of a stroke or dementia, people with dysphagia often require pureed or soft foods, and these foods are often not super appealing. So 3D printing could be a way to make them a bit more attractive. 3D printing can help to replicate the appearance, shape, and texture of the original foods, and while this is aesthetically more pleasing, it can also help to convince people to eat when they may be reluctant to do so. The foods that were a part of performance were additionally supplemented with nutrients for each specific patient's needs, and then they were placed into microwavable packaging for easy and even reheating. Now, this unfortunately isn't a widespread program. The trial took place between 2012 and 2015, and I haven't been able to find any big updates on it since then. But it's also not the only study looking at 3D printing as a potential resource for patients with eating difficulties. A group in Australia is working on something very similar, and a group in Sweden has recently started a project to test out serving 3D printed food to elderly care home residents in 2019. So while not the current state of care, I'm really intrigued by the fact that so many different groups are exploring how to use this technology to actually improve people's quality of life. But there are more problems in the world that innovative solutions and curious ideas like 3D printed food could help tackle. Many of the social initiatives involved in Worlds of Curiosity also look at how we're going to conserve resources as they become more scarce and integrate new technologies into the workplaces of the future, both down here on Earth and maybe even up in space. A company called Up Printing Food is bringing upcycling to the culinary world, transforming food waste into something more palatable and long-lasting. And multiple companies are looking into 3D printing meat, removing the animal raising process from your favorite steak or burger. In fact, two companies called Aleph Farms and 3D Bioprinting Solutions just announced that they had together printed the first piece of meat in space. The microgravity conditions on the International Space Station allowed them to print the piece of meat without the need for the supports or lattices that would be required down here on Earth due to gravity. For now, the main bulk of the cells were grown down here on the ground, but it is possible that in the future, astronauts will be able to grow and print their own steaks on missions far from the closest cow. Now, none of this is mainstream, yet. But I love that people are exploring new ways to make food as we look forward to a future that's going to require feeding a growing population. These ideas include not just 3D printed food, but also things like cell-based meats, one of the many concepts being explored by Merck KGAA Darmstadt, Germany. Their Worlds of Curiosity initiative also looks at how curiosity might help solve social challenges, ranging from the scarcity of resources to the future of scientific work. You can explore this initiative and the ways that curiosity is changing our lives today and tomorrow by visiting the links in the description below. And as always, remember to go forth and do science. <laughs>